We have a dreary day so far, looking at more rain headed our way. Right now, some droplets still in the camera lens and seeing those around Grand Meadows. Some uh, have been falling there anyway, not uh, really evident at this point, but a lot of low cloud cover and the threat of rain around. Temperatures mainly in the mid 40s. We'll go from here maybe to the upper 40s. That's about it. Uh, not much movement in temperature as rain continues. Sprinkles still falling in Rochester, very much in the edge of the main band of rain that's been in the area. Um, certainly higher rainfall totals as er areas toward Austin. Albert Lee, Mason City, Northwood and uh, Osage. They've been dealing with rain the entire time. Steady rainfall all night into this morning. Twi past 24 hours, Clear Lake, Iowa. Bruce, one of our viewers there, called in with a total of 1.3 inches. The past 24 hours, uh, Mason City not too far from there, almost an inch, 85 hundredths an inch. Austin, practically an inch, 0.99. Here in Rochester, a little less than half an inch, 42 hundredths of an inch officially at, in the uh, city of Rochester at the airport. 46 right now, uh, the temperature in Rochester, Plainview 48. It's 45 in Mason City, 50 in Winona, where they've been rain free for the little about a while anyway, last couple of hours. So sprinkles in Rochester right now, it's 46. It feels like 43, not a terribly strong wind chill impact, thankfully. Not a lot of wind, not yet. That will pick up later this evening as rain showers become more scattered and eventually taper off. But uh, we're not going to be completely done with the threat of rain until a few hours after midnight, maybe two or three in the morning. Tomorrow, light rain for the rest of today. Temperatures upper 40s. Tomorrow drier and gradually sunnier, but a blustery day. We'll have temperatures at least are getting back to the 50s tomorrow. We likely won't see very many at all of those 50s today, aside from a 50 spot on the map in Winona. Rain building north and east with more a widespread rain. A slightly heavier activity coming in out of Dubuque, out of the Quad Cities, uh, rotating back to the north and west in the back side of the storm system as it pulls away toward the east. And we'll see the remnants of that storm system uh, stick around into the overnight hours. Widespread rain until about 8 o'clock or so. Then things have become more scattered. After midnight, it's very sparse, not completely done it's about, until about 3 in the morning tomorrow. Periods of rain. Another a tenth, maybe quarter inch in a few spots. Temperatures reaching 49. And then watch the winds become rather blustery. 15 miles per hour gusting to 25 miles per hour in the evening and overnight hours. So a wet and a blustery night ahead of us. Low 40s though, not terribly cold for this time of the year. That's about 7 or 8 degrees above the seasonal average as overnight temperatures go, uh, officially anyway. Showers become scattered in the evening hours after midnight. We see the remnants of those showers move out. Gray skies to start the day tomorrow on future track. We'll see skies slowly clearing from west to east in the afternoon. Just a little bit of that late day sun. A slowly diminishing breeze will make for a better afternoon than morning. Start the day on Saturday, mid 30s, but light winds. And then in the afternoon is the gentle southwest breeze. Daytime highs in the upper half of the 50s. A great looking Saturday. That is it, though. Nothing looking great after that. Temperatures actually colder than average next week to start November, uh, with uh, in fact a shot at the upper 40s and a brisk breeze on Halloween, but some sunshine at least through the day. And the uh, eight, uh, this is beyond eight days going out to November 5th to 11th. The 8 to 14 day outlook will be close to average, if not maybe just slightly below average. Next week does look to be solidly below average. So we'll be looking for basically 40s for highs, but drier than average weather for much of the next uh, half month or so. 49, some light showers, certainly not a dry day today. Rain showers, a blustery uh, cold night, 41 with winds at times 30 miles per hour. 25 mile per hour gusts tomorrow, especially in the morning. Sunshine in the afternoon, 53 for your Friday. Saturday looks good. Sunday, a little breezier, a little colder, 40s in the next week uh, until Thursday, dry with cool sunshine, 20s in the mornings and 40s in the afternoon for highs. Uh, Ted's trivia, what famous visitor to the White House claims to have met the ghost of Abraham Lincoln in the guest bedroom? Ooh, <clears throat> was it Margaret Thatcher? No, actually it was uh, close. It was Winston Churchill during <laughs> World War II. He came in uh, uh, right after the U.S. declared war and uh, he, he visited for uh, about a month and he came out of the bathtub and he walked in and he was he was not dressed and he said he said dear Mr. President I, I'm sorry you had me at the disadvantage. <laughs> Those were the words he used though. So. Oops. <clears throat> what do you say? He had nothing but a cigar <laughs> and a smile I guess. <laughs> well there, there's something.